On its 15th flight, the Ingenuity helicopter was on the move again after a stand down for solar conjunction and flight testing in the thinning summer atmosphere. On this flight, it may have encountered its first dust devil. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Video from Flight 14 captures Ingenuity's shadow and the strange slow motion strobe effect of its four foot long rotors spinning at the higher rate of 2700 RPM. This is needed to compensate for the thinner atmosphere of the northern hemisphere summer. Now it has begun a set of flights that will lead the Perseverance rover back to its original landing site before continuing on to the Delta deposit. The latest flight, number 15, is shown in red. It essentially retraced the path of Flight 11 in the opposite direction. There's a mix of sand ripples at the start and rubbly outcrop exposures and regolith along the route. Here's the flight video at about twice the actual speed. Ingenuity climbed to 12 meters or about 39 feet and rotated about 90 degrees after takeoff to reorient its color camera to look back toward the Delta and the Kodiak Mesa Delta remnant. And that's Ingenuity's dusty carbon fiber foot in the scene. Ingenuity uses its downward looking black and white nav cam to estimate its velocity and a laser altimeter to help maintain a constant height above the terrain. The high res color images, which are pointed 68 degrees off nadir, are taken less often because of their high data volume, typically around 20 megabytes. Here's a line to help show how the shadow bounces around as Ingenuity flies along at 5 meters per second or about 11 miles per hour. The shadow movement is due mostly to oscillations that shift the field of view of the camera rather than Ingenuity flying off track. If you watch carefully, you can see how the shadow tracks landscape features even as it drifts off the red line. Two onboard inertial measurement units, combined with the other sensors, work together to limit drift. There's a small crater that comes into view. It's about 5 meters or 16 feet across. It also shows up in the color camera view. Zooming in on it, I'll include Mars Guy for scale. There's no fresh impact ejecta and the floor is covered in sand, so this little crater is probably hundreds or maybe thousands of years old. It's in this next segment of the flight that something strange happened. I'll put in another line to help show this. Throughout the flight, the shadow mostly oscillates up and down across the horizontal line, but here it shifts pretty dramatically backward and forward right when a strange dark blob appears in one frame. Here it is again. One possible explanation is that the dark blob is the shadow of a dust devil that's out of the camera view to the south. We know that dust devils are a common feature in Jezero Crater, as I've presented in multiple episodes previously. And we know from high-res orbital views that dust devils cast hazy shadows, like in this example. So maybe the oscillations of Ingenuity's shadow are the result of buffeting from a dust devil. But if the dark blob is a dust devil shadow, why does it appear in only one frame? Maybe the blob is a piece of dust devil debris that passed by the camera, but there are rocks on the ground that can still be seen through it, and it covers too many pixels to be from some kind of camera glitch. So it's a bit of a mystery, but a dust devil is a reasonable guess. Ingenuity certainly didn't seem to have any problems after this event. It continued on to the east and finished its flight uneventfully. Maybe some future flight will show another example of this anomaly, which will help solve the mystery.